All right, here's one we haven't looked at in some time. It is the Linux Mint Cinnamon. There's a little clock and calendar. Power your internet connections. Live session user. There's the Cinnamon menu. And let's have a look at the system settings. Let's see what this thing is. System info 362 now, Cinnamon. This one's like Linux kernel 410. And there it is, Linux Mint 18.3. So let's see what's going on with this thing. Themes, probably got all the same themes. There's the Mint X themes. And there's all the different colors, settings, and all that. And applets, general, account. So all this looks uh, about the same. They got uh, the Sylvia wallpaper so this is all the new wallpaper seen all these other ones so let's have a look at these very nice very nice very nice there's that one okay we've seen that one a lot of nice scenery shots not bad that was pretty neat not quite sure what it is and there is another one and another one very strange looking wallpaper okay not bad though and then you got some mountain ones some flowered ones and there's that one this one's pretty cool so we'll leave it on that one. So there's the wallpaper. It's not bad. And let's see what else we can find in here. There's the sound. I don't think they've uh, changed anything with the power management or the sound or anything like that. Mouse touchpad, all this stuff here looks the same. Of course, uh, there's a little startup application thing. Uh, online accounts, input, desktop settings. So there's effects and everything. So all that looks about the same. So I didn't see the uh, what's it called that they added in here, the time shift. So I, yeah, I don't think things like that add to this control center. There's the login. So there's the login. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. I'm not sure what they named this one, but that's like the uh, slick reader there's the settings for that and so time shift and what was the other thing oh the uh, the new software center let's uh, go ahead and look at that the software manager they did a real good job on the software manager looks uh, pretty nice and let's see if we can find that time shift and there's time shift so let's look at this first. So here's a new little software center. Pretty neat. Got the flat packs. I'm not sure if I would ever use that. But there they are. And it's got software that's already <laughs> in the other repo. I, I don't even know what this is about. There's Darktable, Blender. What is it? I mean, you're you're putting the same software that's I don't know I don't know what it is system tools and then sound and video and look there was a uh, Cody and then you click on one and it should show you a little menu yeah the pictures on that one small let's see some of them got a big picture let's see there's audacity let's see if that one's a big picture there's a big picture. So, uh, and I think they did some updates. To, yeah, they uh, did some updates to Audacity. Uh, put some little themes, made it look better. You see there, instead of that plain look that it had. So this is a pretty neat um, software manager. Not bad at all. You know, it looks real good. Seems to work somewhat good. So, here's the little. Um, time shift and this is just like uh, going
going back in time if something happens there's your settings location schedule you can say monthly weekly daily hour and I've used this and made a little video of it um, I was talking about on the mint uh, Linux multi video that it the first run that it does it you know it's kind of slow but then the second run third run it's faster so it, it just needs to get the information in there but it's not a bad little program like if you get uh, y'all set up where you want it on the hard drive and everything daily weekly it'll make these snapshots so if anything happens you come in here uh, to your little snapshots and you find them wherever they might be uh, let's see where would they be here and then you just select one and then you say restore to that point and it should take you back to that point and I've tested it, it works really good has no problems um, I just noticed that the first snapshot it's really slow you know 20 30 minutes you know depending on hard drive space but then the second and third are it's faster it just it, like it already has the information that it needs to build the first one and then it just just does little changes so it works pretty good not bad at all glad they put that in here and let's see what else did they do uh, there's accessories graphics I'm sure all the software is the same office sound video administrative tools there's the system monitor and of course there's the little browser file browser preferences and uh, let's see what else we can get into uh, screen savers all, I, um, you know they probably did a bunch of other stuff to uh, clean up the system Oh, the system reports that's another thing that they added um, little crash reports I, I really don't see uh, I don't know these things just kinda annoy me um, if this one doesn't have a bunch of pop-ups all the time popping up annoying you then I guess it would be okay just to have a log of that stuff but the thing that pops up all like on Ubuntu Mate it's kinda annoying and I have to install it because if I install that on someone's computer and it has this thing popping up all the time I'm gonna have people saying, what is that what is that what is that you know like it's nothing don't worry about it and on top of that it would annoy them they would probably be calling me saying I want this thing off my computer because this thing keeps popping up crashing so I go ahead and install that uninstall it so uh, if this one doesn't have uh, that popping up all the time then it would be okay but I haven't really tested that so uh, pretty cool uh, seems pretty even though this thing's running on uh, VirtualBox here it seems a little bit more responsive than a normal cinnamon would uh, because it they just don't like uh, VirtualBox so let's uh, see how quick it opens some things up there's your little file browser terminal and there's your little calculator and let's see does it got the alt tab working on it it just has it like that of course you can uh, I think I zoomed in on my desktop yeah it just has it like that so you can um, let's see where is that at the alt tab somewhere in here general extensions panel workspace windows is it the alt tab now you can uh, switch it to the cover flow which almost gives you it's not running really smooth but this should look like the you know smooth fluid moving where you know the windows are going along um, it's because it's running on VirtualBox that they're just flipping through it like that but that one's pretty cool and then you got the timeline it's like that and this one also is running kinda rough because it's uh, in VirtualBox then you got all these other ones here so you know it's pretty cool little environment here um, it's not bad at all and it seems like it's uh, running pretty good in VirtualBox because they usually don't like VirtualBox so pretty cool little build uh, not bad at all like the little updates they did and you know not too much but uh, good enough and it's all the same you're not going to get uh, overwhelmed by all the little updates and of course you still can move the panel to the top 
side and left or right on this one with the top you know cinnamon is not bad I had it installed here for a while and was using it really liked it started making themes for it and going crazy with it and then just like KDE one day I just got bored of it <laughs> and moved on I don't know what it is just like KDE I, I couldn't tell you why I just decided you know what I'm done and I never looked back and it seems like cinnamon did that same thing I was having real fun with it really liked it and it was just going along and it was just doing it for me and then all of a sudden I was just like mm, I don't like it I mean I not that I don't like it but um, I just wanted to move on so I guess we'll wrap this up here this was a look at Linux Mint 18.3 this is the beta and this is the cinnamon desktop pretty cool environment not bad at all so yeah alright I'm out